Hello and welcome to the 53rd tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at page headers. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Page headers are pretty self-explanatory, so we're not going to really explain them. Bootstrap, like everything else, makes it, well, <laughs> easy to implement. So let's just open up our index HTML file and show you how it's done. There's not much to it. Obviously, you can add more styling and change it if you want to. But that's, again, that's that's depending on your website. So what I'm just going to do is go here. I'm actually going to get rid of this hello world. Because for now, that sort of served as a header. So I'm going to create a class, or I mean a div. And it's going to have a class of page header. This is already all styled up within Bootstrap, so we don't need to do anything for that in CSS. And inside the div class, we're going to have a h1 tag. And the h1 tag isn't going to have any class whatsoever. So what we're going to do is put example page header and then we're going to put like a subtext for header. So I'm going to do small and what I'm just going to put in here is subtext for header. So there you go. It's that simple. So if we save this bad boy now and run it in our web browser there you go, we have a header. Plus also, as you can see, I don't know if you can, you should be able to see it now, it draws a line underneath it. It's a sort of thing, but it helps immensely visually. It just adds that flair to it. And as you can see, we've got the regular text and then we've got the subtext. Naturally, you most likely probably want the other separate line, so let's actually just do that now. Let's just put it on a separate line. I'm gonna put a break here. If you go back to our web browser, refresh, there you go, it's on a separate line. So that that's a pretty good looking header, and obviously if you resize it, it resizes fine in terms of the line, and if you had right in there, you'll bump down accordingly. So it's that simple to implement page headers within Bootstrap. The next tutorial will cover thumbnails. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description to see hundreds, absolutely hundreds, of free videos like this one for free visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day